medical examiner's office coming out tonight with the exact cause of death, officially ruling this blunt force trauma to the head. And meanwhile, as police here continue to investigate tonight, this victim's family is coming forward, pleading with the public, asking anyone to come forward with any information about his death. Police continue to investigate the death of 28 year old Jordan Bozik Sunday. So far, no arrests, no suspects named. His brother and parents speaking with Pittsburgh's Action News 4 today, hoping a witness will come forward. If there's anyone out there who knows anything, please help us. Brother Jeremiah Bozik says on Friday night, Jordan finished his shift working valet at Nakama Restaurant on East Carson Street and went to Fiori's Pizza in Brookline with a friend. They drove back to Nakama, Jordan then driving himself toward Fiori's following his girlfriend in the car in front of him. They somehow lost contact though. She turned left out of the tunnel and Jordan went to Fiori's, arriving at about 2.20 a.m. Saturday. From then on, a mystery. His car found behind Fiori's with the headlights on, his cell phone destroyed. Jordan found in a stairwell, his hands and wrists broken, skull crushed. It's just the, it's the worst way to picture someone dying is afraid and confused. And there's nothing you can do about it. And you can't bring them back. Jeremiah says his brother had no enemies, no one who would want to hurt him. We just need some help because obviously nothing's, nothing's going to bring back my brother, but... <laughs> But we just, we want someone to, to be held accountable for it. Now, the gas station right across the street from Fiori's on West Liberty Avenue in Brookline, Dormont there, confirms tonight that they did have surveillance footage from that night that has been handed over. So the family now hoping that perhaps that video, perhaps some witness who sees this on TV will come forward and provide some sort of information that could help police crack this case. Reporting live tonight from police headquarters on the north side, Bo Berman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.